Hi, good morning class. Um, my name is Leslie and today I will be getting into the discussion is lying moral or immoral and why I believe it, it's immoral. Um, so I want to start off with this quote. Um, St. Augustine said it best, when regard for truth has been broken down or even slightly weakened, all the things will remain doubtful. Um, so our society has given definitions to many lies that exist today. Um, so why are the reasons that people lie? I'm pretty sure we all have done it and we've even produced like a small little white lie. There's also lies of like broken promises, lies of deception, plagiarism, and compulsion lying. So I'll get into a little bit more on how this relates, you know. Um, so uh, there is this article that I found on the web that was written by Mr. Tim. Um, and it's called Lying, published at Santa Clara University, stated that lies are morally wrong for two reasons. And first, lying corrupts the most important quality of my being, human. Um, my ability to make free rational choices. Each lie I tell contradicts the part of me that gives me moral worth. Second, my lies rob others of their freedom to choose rationally. And so I agree with this because, you know, as said this definitely creates like a false perception of yourself if you continue to lie so sometimes in life i know that we use lies to get away from consequences punishment and we use it to avoid accountability so there has also been the development of lies to impress to appear more favorable so i use the example of social media like i use filters to make myself look more flawless or make it look like i don't have any wrinkles on my face or to make it look like <clears throat> excuse me i don't have any acne scars or acne on my face right so we create a false perception of ourselves and we deceive others to make ourselves look like something that we're really not right so i also found on this article um, written by Cornette Allison. She added that depressed people will also lie. So several studies have shown that depressed people will dilute themselves far less than their non-depressed peers about the amount of control they have over situations and about um, the effect they have on other people. So I agree with Cornette because I believe that lies can build a bad habit that sometimes people have a hard time breaking out of. So being lied to is a negative feeling that most of us don't want to feel, right? So I also thought of what would the world be like if no one lied. So um, will everyone get justice? Um, yeah, they will probably get justice. But I think that if we did live in a world without lies, um, the world would be more bitter and harsh. Um, so it's like the cliche quote, truth hurts. Um, so one case that I want to bring to light is this documentary, um, How to Fix a Drug Scandal on Netflix, where Sonia Farrakh a chemist who tampered and falsified many cases. Um, Sonia Farrakh was eventually caught with the possession of drugs and cocaine, and she was even um, using the illegal narcotics. So can you imagine how many um, inmates she wrongfully imprisoned because she tampered with evidence? So I think this is wrong. So I want to get into um, virtue ethics and good life what they are and how it contributes to contributes to lying so in the textbook um ethics for life defines moral virtue as an admirable character or trait or disposition to habitually act in a manner that benefits oneself so examples of virtue is like generosity courage being honest um having loyalty being courageous and having wisdom and being virtuous means one must acquire um one must acquire um, all these traits as mentioned above like being honest being courageous and it explains that an honest and loyal person is more likely to carry the duty of fidelity um so but however like even though you are um just because you do something nice doesn't make you eternally virtuous right so there's this example given where this lady is donating billions of dollars to this charity but in reality she's donating these billions of dollars in charity because she wants to earn um a building named after her right so there's also the discovery of eudaimonia of uh, eudaimonia of aristotle this is simply um, the life of striving, of trying to improve yourself, um, trying to be the best person that you can be, and also improving on your weaknesses and your strengths. 
Um, so, of course, being virtuous is that we must practice all these good deeds, being honest, being courageous, and being good person. So, however, like the example, if we're being honest with ourselves, does that make us virtuous? Because I know that being honest is good, but it creates harm to other people, you know, because the truth can also hurt, right? So that's one way to see it on a lie, right? Um, so another moral theory that I want to get into is um, deontology. And the word deontology comes from the Greek word meaning duty, so which is obligatory, right? So according to the Webb Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, deontology is another normative theory regarding which choices are forbidden, permitted, and or morally required, right? So in other words, um, what we believe is morally right or wrong, and it is our duty to do what is right regardless of the consequences, right? So, um, so it is our duty to do these right actions. So for a deontologist, it is the right thing to tell the truth and avoid telling lies. So there's also this famous philosopher, Immanuel Kant, who was the basically the CEO of the critique of pure reason and he believed that telling the truth was morally right so you must tell the truth you know and you must perform moral acts to be to be morally right and virtuous I guess um, so um, like Sonia Frock had the duty to basically tell the truth and you know to stand to be on the stand and to tell the truth under oath because if she didn't she would be risking um, other people's lives you know and she would be falsely imprisoning other people so it was her duty to tell the truth and in her duty of telling the truth her consequence was that she had to face 18 months of um, jail right so there are what's called the three criteria so when it comes to deciding what is wrong wrongfully right or wrong um, so I think one solution that can help us stop these bad habits is to analyze these criteria or textbook states that um, our textbook states that we should look for another alternative to deception. And secondly, we should ask ourselves whether the lie can pass the test of publicity by examining um, the, the searching. So I'm sorry. Um, we should ask ourselves whether the lie can pass the test of publicity by examining the lie from other people's perspectives or viewpoints. And lastly, we should engage in personal soul searching. So we would like, so would we like being lied to? Of course not, we would not like to be lied to, right? So we, if we would not like to be the person being duped, then we ought not to do it to someone else, right? So um, there might be people who might disagree with me because there's also the, utilitarian act or the utilitarian theory um, so utilitarianism is the theory that was founded by Jerry Bean Bentham and John Stuart Mill so in the book published of ethics for life states that actions themselves are neither determined by its consequence if this consequence or especially a lie deception or dishonesty produces goodness or happiness then in this person or situation then this action is morally acceptable right so I'll give an example of um, this lady who was called Corey. So there was this Dutch woman who was known for harboring Jewish people from the Nazis during the Holocaust. It was a genocide of European Jews. Um, so Ten Boom was providing food, shelter, and place to hide for the Jews. And the Nazi police were notified that Cornelia Ten Boom um, had been harboring Jews in her home. So the dilemma here is that the quarry will tell a lie to save the people's lives she was harboring. So when the police arrive at her home, she was asked if she was harboring any Jews, and she says, no, I'm not harboring any Jews. But then the Nazi police eventually found out that she was harboring Jews, so um, they all ended up, including Corey Ten Boom's um, family, were taken to um, an encrypt in a concentration camp. So. We know that lying is an acceptable is an acceptable, but however, in this case, Corey decided to apply her utilitarian act here. So that's some of the reasons why I think that lying is wrong, and why we shouldn't do it because it just corrupts, you know, the person who is lying, you know, and they're creating false perceptions of themselves. They're creating bad habits. 
they're creating you know broken relationships and stuff like that so I don't think it's right to continuously do it so um thank you so much for listening and I hope to see you guys in another class